Yeah, douche. Joey Moss, Bad Boy MTG. Thanks for tuning in. This is part two of the estate sale purchase. If you haven't seen the very first one, I highly suggest you go back. I'm not going to reveal what was opened in that for people who have not watched it yet, but it's worth your while. I'm just going to leave it at this. I was blown away in the first video by how much value we pulled out of there. We are talking reserve list cards and reserve list cards mostly in good condition. This person took care of their stuff and it shows. And that makes the collection so much more valuable. So let's dive into it. There's a lot of nostalgia to go over. Relive with me my childhood. <laughs> Some of your childhoods as well. Um, and for newer players, this is going to be a fun experience for you also. Let's dive in. I have not checked out any of the stuff. Like I said, we're going to be going over the blue binder in the thumbnail. And we're also going to be going over the black binder, which we got a sneak peek last week at. And I think I flipped to one page and there was like a $30 or $40 uh, card right there. It's Snoring Bridge, I think, of the original one. So that was a lot of hype. I'm pumped. If it's anything like the first binder, this is going to be just madness. Let's go. I don't want to talk anymore. Let's go. Oh, wait, and the, the sixth edition box. I'm going to crack that open too in this video. Let's go. Journey with me. Let's get to cracking. I keep saying let's get to cracking, Captain. Let's get to opening some fun stuff. Skadoosh. Let's go. Ooh. All right. I am excited. All right, let's go. Oh, I got to put over here. Over here. Okay. There we go. Better for lighting. All right. So starting off, um, this is all visions right here. Um, not too certain on all the pricing on these. But uh, we're looking at old stuff, guys. <laughs> Yuka Pose? I do remember some of these. Not all, but quite a few. Relic Ward, remember that? Um, nothing too nuts standing out on this page. And then we got... Uh, these are all like mint condition. These are like, seriously, like all, all mint condition. Can I get like no glare? That's just because we're going to get, guys. Oh, Smother and Tithe. Okay, I was looking up at the camera. Smother and Tithe, baby. Well, the Tithe. Um, that's the OG, man. That is the freaking OG tithe right there. Get a load of that. Just a peaceful, nice, calm little day. That's right. Two fellas meeting each other, maybe having breakfast. Okay, man, that caught me off guard. I was like, what? Look back down, and there it is. All right, got the tithe. Um, again, I think, do we have doubles and duplicates of stuff here? No? No? All right, I know we had some in the last one. Uh, Quirion Ranger, here we go. Quirion Ranger, or Qu Quaron Ranger, whatever you want to call it. That's, uh, how many are here? We got two of these on the back of whatever this is. Just one. Um, yeah, that's a nice one, though. And uh, the, the, the price difference is just crazy for these older cards. Where, like, uh, this is an example. I don't know the price, but let's say a Ranger is, like, maybe $3 in near mint condition. But if you have, like, them in, you know, any other condition. Excellent condition, which is actually really bad. Um, or, like, light play moderate play you know the price just starts tanking like the two bucks uh moderate plays like a buck buck 50 you know and it goes down from there but wow uh really really neat uh you got to pay attention to the prices though and it's the condition not the prices the condition of the cards these older ones because that is what it uh, that's all that matters really um when it comes to the value if they're kept in good shape and this dude took care of his stuff man oh sweet necrata there you go. Tar Pit Warrior. Man, this stuff is just cool. Look at the art. You got to get a load of this art, man. Get a load of that old school art. Good old Rock Slide. Bada bing. Again, this entire collection, $400. Uh, I, would, I paid for this. 400 bucks. And right now, I am beyond thrilled um, of what we've uh, got out here. There's a Legacy card, which is weird. It's like out of place there. Um, really, it's actually kind of strange. Another legacy card. All right, maybe he meant to do that. I don't know. Fog of Nats. Ostracized. Funeral Charm. Necromancy. The art on this card. It's like one of those small heads. Um, where do they do that stuff? Is it in Africa? Where they do like uh, the, the shrinking of the heads? I don't know where it's at, but I think it's Africa. Uh, but that's just the first thing that stood out. It looks like one of those tinier heads. Um, Impulse. Well, Beetlejuice has it as well. Night of the Mess, Crip Rats, Desolation. There's a hit right there. Desolation's a nice card. Some of you guys said you wanted me to pull them up a little bit. Uh, but just to show you, like, the grade or uh, the condition of these. Let's just pull out a Desolation. Ooh, this one on the back has a little mark right there. 
But other than that, I mean, this would probably be like light play, I would say, just because of the backing. Otherwise, it'd be like near mint or mint. Pretty cool. Ostracize over here. Anything down there? Nope. Simone, there you go. Pygmy Hippo is a good card. Pygmy Hippo, that's like a decent one. Wand of Denial. Dormant Volcano. Didn't that get a reprint? A Dormant Volcano in like uh, Dominaria or something like that? I don't even think it's all play there, but it definitely got the reprint. Undo Inspiration. Triangle of War. Decent artifact that stands out. And I think that might be it on this one. Vision Charm, Breeze Keeper, some gems. All right, so nothing too too crazy yet. Quicksand. I can't remember if that's a good one or not. Cabbage. Are there multiples here of Quicksand? No, just one. Yeah, I can't recall. I think Quicksand might be one of the better ones. And one color manager, Mana Pool. Target attacking creature without flying. That's something. Not too impressive, so probably not. But there are qu quite a bit of reserve list cards on here. Uh, volunteer reserve, <laughs> volunteer reserves. We're looking for the volunteer reserves. Where's the volunteer reserves? Uh, two different uh, areas for the reserves. That's when cumulative upkeep was around. Pretty cool. Angelic rewards times two. I wonder if there's. I wonder why it's like that. Any reason? Any any reason? No. All right. Can't get armor. Uh, Leisure of the Hollows is a good pool right there. Leisure of Hollows. That's nice. Vitalize, another card, like, multiples now. Vitalize is, like, in mint condition, near mint, it's, like, I think, three bucks. But <laughs> the price tanks from there, like a buck or whatnot, if not uh, if not near mint. Uh, or maybe even 30 cents, you know, like in moderate play or bad play, just whatever. Oh, man, fire whip. Whoosh. Gotta love it. That was my sound effects for the day. Even this card's one that, like, in mint conditions, like, two, three bucks. But in bad, it's, like, 15 cents, 20 cents. Aberroth, there you go. Aberroth's cool. Anytime I see, like, a decent one, I just want to see if there's multiples. Nope. All right. Then we flip it a page. Festering Evil. Shadow Rida. Rida. Okay. Red, there wasn't a whole lot of value in red in Weatherlight. This is Weatherlight now. Um, there was not a whole lot of value in the red in Weatherlight. Not that I, maybe one or maybe one or two cards over ten bucks, maybe something like that. Uh, Black had some though. Um, the Medusa, the Medusa, zombie scavengers, mana chains. We are searching. We are on a hunt, man. Apathy, fog elemental. Okay. I don't think really nothing stands out here either. Dingus Staff, maybe, maybe not. Flux, all right. Nothing nutty. And we got, oh, a bunch of artifacts. Artifacts, usually, oh, well of knowledge. Um, usually with uh, artifacts and the older sets, you can find some uh, some value there. I think that's the original Mind Stone, maybe, I think. There's some Slivers, all Slivers game first strike. That's cool. A pacifism with good old Karn from Tempest. That's how back that uh, that lore goes. I mean, there's Karn. I think that's Karn. It looks like Karn, at least. Yeah. Frozen by conscious, Karn did not resist as the Mogs carried him to the Predator. Unbelievable. So this page, not bad whatsoever. Um, the uh, Touchstone might be something, too. Might be something. Heroes resolve. That dude's the one that decapitated Urza. Little did you know, this little basket of Gerard... Oh, jerk. That's my favorite dude. Why'd you have to cut his head off, man? What's wrong with you? Marble Titan. Looks like it'd be worth something. The Marble Titan there. Warmth. Okay. So, just... Nothing nuts. Nothing nutty. I could be missing stuff, though, too. Avenging Angel, I believe, is one of the better cards from the set for white. And there's multiples of it. There's another one up here. Another Avenging Angel. Uh, the Sacred Guide? I don't know about that one. Vulnerability, a bunch of circle of protections. That's cool. Uh, Autog, that's one of the cards that uh, is featured on Tempest Booster Packs. So that's pretty neat. What else we got? Verdant Force. Oh, man. Love that. Love that, love that. I think they reprinted that one, too. During each player's upkeep, put a sapling token into play. Treat this token as a 1-1 green creature. Reap. 
Reap is on the reserve list. Recycle, I think Recycle is on the reserve list too. Might be mistaken, but I doubt it. Um, or Spite. Spike Drone. Who remembers Spikes? That was cool. The, the time of Spikes. It just dealt with a whole lot of plus one, plus one counters and moving plus one, plus one counters and this, that, and the other. Uh, neat to see that Verdant Force, though. That art takes me way back. Natural Spring, nothing crazy. Okay. Tranquility, Stormfront. Boom! A Lauren right there. That's a nice hit. Hells to the yeah. There you go. Nice, nice cod. That one sees a lot of play in Commander. Any card that sees a lot of play in Commander, you bet your bottom dollar that uh, it's going to bring in some uh, some jangle. Uh, especially these older cards that can't be reprinted. This is on the reserve list, I think. Do you have multiples of that, my friend? My friend? No, just the one? We'll take it. All right. So this page was really good to us, uh, mainly because of you. Uh, Muscle Sliver. All Slivers get plus one, plus one. That's cool. That is pretty cool. All right. Um, am I missing anything here? I mean, if there's anything like two bucks and under, I'm just going to tally it in. I'm not going to get crazy with like 10 cents here, five cents there, but, uh, you know, I will factor in, uh, some prices. Here's more Tempest. Uh, I got Stun. I don't know the Temp... Oh, Apocalypse. That one stood right out. Apocalypse? How is the condition of you, my friend? I did just pick up an Apocalypse in near mint condition about a month ago. Uh, this one looks to be in light play. Yeah, I would say that's light play. There's a little ding over here. Any surfacing? Yeah, there's surface scratches on the back. And a little bit on the front, too. And there's like a little puncture here. This is probably even moderate play considered. Not bad. We'll take it, though. Uh, Apocalypse recently started going up. It's just a really cool card. How do we get this back in there? There you go, buddy. All right. Heart sliver. Got some more slivs. All right. All diffusion. Sandstone, Shadow, okay, Sudden Impact, Goblin Bombardment, that's a that's a nice one to have. Sacrifice Creature, Goblin Bombardment deals one damage to target creature or player, really, really cool. Get a crap, and it, you can do that as many times as you want. So you get a crap ton of goblins out, just start sacking them, boom, 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 deal all the damage so it's lethal. Really cool. Giant Strength. All right, Sudden Impact, Shadow Storm. Deal two damage to each creature with shadow. <laughs> I'm like, I what was Shadow Storm again? Yeah, shadow was cool because only creatures with shadow can block creatures with shadow. So, pretty neat. Uh, Coffin Queen, I always loved the art on that card. Coffin Queen was always a really, really cool looking card. I just liked it. I just liked when uh, when uh, females appeared on uh, magic cards. Got mad respect and love for my ladies out there. All right, all right. <laughs> Dothry Mercenary. Reanimate, bada boom! What you got there, friend? Just one? Just one. We'll take you though. Original reanimate. I think that's re original. I might be mistaken on that. I think that's original. So that's really neat. That might even be a, a decent card there. Uh, man, the nostalgia. Just going back in time here, man. The dark ritual. That was neat. Now you'd think there might be more dark rituals here, but no. Uh, there's a, a creature with shadow, Dothy Slayer. There you go. Dothy Slayer. All right, what else? Corpse Dance. That's a good one. All right. Oh, and Commander uh, Griven Ilvac. This card was recently like a buck or two. Um, and now I think it's up to like 7, 8. I watch a bunch of these uh, uh, MTG Market Watch videos and stuff like that, um, for sure. And uh, it keeps you updated on the pricing of this older stuff. It's, it's just it's fascinating to me, you know, because this is the time I collected, and I just get really angry when I start seeing cards that I'm like, ah, my collection, you know, like I sold them all off. I used to have like three copies of that, and it's like 200 bucks, you know, stuff like that. Uh, good times, good times, that's all I can say. Uh, but neat to see these ones. A whole bunch of shadow in here. Dark Banishing. Uh, that was another card I think that was featured on the art also. Uh, Kezardrix. That might be a rare as well. Okay. Tempest Blue. Okay. Cassius. Capsize. Just so many cards just stand out. You know, you're like, oh, man, I remember playing with that. Counterspell like this dude with his arm. Like, and it's like, not going to happen. You know? <laughs> you're not going to do that. Um, oh, man. Uh, power sink, duplicity, chill. All right, all right, all right. We're doing all right here. Giant crabs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, another insight. 
Another insight. How about them apples? Oh, it's the first insight. What was I saying it was then? What did I just confuse myself with? Did I just read insight at random? Cuckoo! Cuckoo! No clue. I know I read duplicity. I'll have to rewatch the video. Ah, oh, that's weird. Okay. There's insight. Ta-da! And then we have uh, Volrath's Curse. Wing Sliver. All slivers gain flying. I think last video I pulled two of the insights, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, oh, a behemoth. 7-6 with Island Walk. If defending player controls any islands, this creature is unblockable. How sweet was that? The times of the walks, man. The times of the walks. Volrath's Curse. More slivers. <laughs> Twitch. There's the original Twitch right there. <laughs> Forgot about that card. All right. Oh, nice. Emerald Medallion. Pretty cool. Mannequin. All right, all right. Jinx Idol. Uh, even Tradewind Rider. Uh, that one's not bad either. That one's starting to see play. Scalding Tongues. Can't remember about that. Thumb screws. So, solid page here as well. Mog Cannon. Look at these dudes just getting into a cannon about to be launched. Boom. Boom. That's fun. Squeeze toy. Like, look, look at this dude. You cannot take away my toy. It's mine. I swear. That was like me with my teddy bear when I was a little boy. And then my mom threw him away because he smelled bad. You're a liar. You could have just thrown him in the washing machine. And then she told me she didn't throw him away and she lied to me for years. I was really sad. You're lying. Oh, moving along. Uh, metallic sliver. Cool. That one got a reprint in a set not too long ago. Some echo chamber. Puppet strings. Uh, these are fun. Uh, seeing these old guys, but this is from the reprint set Chronicles. So they're, I mean, the value is like a buck or less on each of them. Um, I have this one in Legends in its original OG BGS 9.5. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Kai uh, Takashi. Man, are there a bunch of, there are multiples behind stuff. Uh oh. All right. I should probably be checking then some stuff. Oh, we could have missed out on a ton of value, man. I don't even know it. Are these, there's two emerald medallions for example my friends two emerald medallions there bada bing bada boom okay okay i know it's a little thickness on that one so all right that's that's really good two emerald medallions this this has to be this uh this binder here i'm guessing like 300 bucks maybe i mean we're, we're really racking up the dough here um steadily 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 any more doubles, triples? I feel like I got to check now because, yeah, like what's behind Metallic Sliver over here, dude? Bot more bottle gnomes. Okay. Yeah, that gets crazy when there's a... Okay, here's another one. What do you got? Is this a copy of this? Yes, coiled. Okay. Got to check them because uh, they could be hiding stuff. Thumb sleeves. What do you got? Thumb sleeve. So there's two thumbs or thumb screws. Nope. Okay. I'm just seeing stuff. Let's keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> Sky Spirit. Spontaneous Combustion. Cool name for a card. Ranger and Vec. Lobotomy. Dude's going through a bad time. Uh, Immensity Tomb. Tome. I think that's about it. Okay. And lastly. Oh, got lands. Got some lands. I wonder if any of these lands are going for anything. I don't remember Tempest being uh having the best lands i mean they had a lot of lands that just weren't that great i know they had a few that were really good mog hollows cinder marsh any duplicates no uh vec township sky shroud forest stalking stones ghost town that one's that one's a notable i think maybe just one copy and scab land all right so that is this first binder which not bad not bad at all i mean <laughs> considering what we paid Zero freaking complaints. I am not complaining about nada. Let's open up the behemoth, shall we? Okay, now this one really got me excited. Um, Because, uh, yeah, we flipped to a page and I saw Urza stuff. And that was just nutty to me. So, all right, there we go. Um, on the side over here, we opened it up and we did see that there were uh, Urza's uh, little, little pamphlets here. So, maybe a sign of what to expect, I guess. Uh, put this down here. There's another Urza, um, you know, little, these come in the starter decks, I think. So that's pretty cool. Holy crap. Look at the love on these bad boys. Something else I noticed, those, the last binder we did, the sleeves were newer on that last one, which tells me this guy probably 
played recently or got back into it because they were those ultra pro sleeves. So interesting to note. Um, oh man, uh, this is a uh, stronghold. I'm not too familiar with stronghold. I, I did have quite a few. Um, but oh man, it's, it's, I don't, you guys probably can't make it out, but if, if, um, you'd have to be here to see it, I guess. Uh, but the sleeve is like, it's like wavy. This, this, this first sleeve at least is wavy. Um, provoke nothing, nothing. I don't really see anything here. Spike colony, fun card. All right. So we got spined worm awakening. Don't know, but it looks like it might be something. A spike breeder. Oh, I love the art on these spikes. Get a load of that. Get a load of that, man. So neat. The artwork back in the day. Um, I don't know if they were all like some of these were computer generated, but a lot of it was actual like artist paintings, you know. I don't know when they really switched over to the uh oh that was sticky. Uh that's what she said. Mulch. I don't know when they switched over to start doing the uh all creatures you control game trample. Yeah, that's not as good as it probably used to be. Sticky sticky page. All right. Uh invasion plans, heart of Bertle. Flame wave, that's a fun card. This giant dude. Go that way. <laughs> Don't go into the flames. You're like, okay. Like, all right. Th thanks, boss. I got this. Appreciate you, boss. Yeah. Thanks for the pro tip there. All right. I'm trying to make sure there's no glare on the screen. There we go. All right. It'll have to be something like that to avoid glare. Okay. Deathstroke, Revenant, Cannibalize, Fling. All right, nothing nutty here. This is the binder, though. I did see that one card. I flipped to one page, and I was like, whoa! Um, I'm probably coming up to it soon. Megrim. Oh, man. I had a Megrim deck. Bottomless pit to punt. That's what's up, man. Getting back some of my old cards, I feel. Really neat card. Remember, any opponent discards a card, Megrim deals two damage to him or her. Uh, bottomless pit. Nice combination. During each player's upkeep, that player discards a card at random. So every single turn, if you have out Megrim and you have bottomless pit out, you're just constantly having your opponent discard, you know. Um, until, you know, of course, they have no cards to run out. That's that's a bummer, though. Maybe have a way to make them draw a bunch. But, yeah, fun combination there. Uh, without a doubt, I had a deck all about that stuff. Uh, Walking Dream. Mind Peel. Tortured Existence. Really cool card art. Eeks. All right, got Mana Leak. Multiple mana leaks. Legit. Good old sift. Sliver Wyvern. That was... I think that card art was featured on the booster packs. I think. Mind games. I love the card art in that too. Walking Dream. Wasn't there a Walking Dream on the last page? Yes. Alright. Mask of the Mimic. Dream Prowler. Yeah, I can't be too certain with a lot of these Stronghold. Um, stronghold cards. Slivas. There it is. Ensnaring Bridge. That's what we saw when we flipped it open. And now we go into Exodus. Oh, man. This is cool. Um, I remember when I was collecting, seeing Exodus was just... It, it was weird seeing the set symbol because this was the first time they put rarity in the set symbol. So... I'm like, why is this silver? You know, because we didn't know. I mean, unless you read like Inquest or Scry and knew like it was coming in advance. You know, me and my 11-year-old friend, you know, 12-year-old friend, we had no freaking idea like that they were going to do that. You know, where nowadays there's spoilers and you know everything ahead of time. So it was a really cool surprise to us when we saw the, uh, the set symbols having rarity, uh, which was really neat. It makes it really simple to know what's worth what. A bunch of nice slivers here or multiples. No, we, we wish. Hibernation, Spined, and Victual. Victual. Got the Bullwhip. Okay. Ooh, con, uh, Convalescence. Convalescence. That's legit. Mary Cat Warrior. So there's a couple rares right here. Not bad. Can't remember if they're on the reserve list or not. Reconnaissance. Convalescence and Reconnaissance. Not sure what I was calling it. Yeah, we have fun pronouncing stuff around here, huh? Okay, what else? Uh, execution. Bunch of nice, decent uncommons. Some sticky stuff here and there. Spike Rogue and Spike Hatcher with Spike Weaver. Here's where Spikes really came alive. 
Pandemonium, really cool art. I actually used that art uh, in a uh, video before um, for the background, I think for an arena, MTG arena event. Um, I think it was called Pandemonium, and that's where, uh, yeah, that's where that came from. Pretty cool. Spike Weaver. All these rogue, spike rogue, spike catcher. I wonder if these spikes are worth anything nowadays. Uh, the old jackalope. Some sticky pages. Okay. Monstrous hound. Slaughter, spike canal. Or cannibal. Alright, mine maggots. Again, I don't know if anything... I don't think anything on the reserve list and uncommons from this set. There's a, a rare... Monstrous Hound. But it was cool when you got the rare. Like, it, it, it's hard for me to explain to you guys what it was like pulling um, these cards with the set symbol rarity on them. It was just completely different. Like, the feeling was just so strange. Oath of... Why do I think Oath of Scholars is worth something? That one stands out a lot. I think it's on the reserve list. Um, but it was just such a different feeling. Like, this set... It... it, it I, I just felt a different way when I when I opened these packs back then uh, compared to the other stuff. Like I felt like it was um, magic, like uh, like it, everything was like refreshed. You know, it was like really refreshing. That's how it felt anyway. So it was really neat. Um, and they went with it. You know, they stuck with the set symbol um, with the rarity from then on. Pretty cool. Oath of Scholars. I swear that might. I think that's worth something. All these pages like are stuck. I don't know if you use humidity or what causes that, but uh, null brooch, mindless automaton, and just I see a little saga. Oh boy! Okay, everyone get excited. Everyone get excited. Hopefully, you got more saga than you got Exodus. Uh, but still, really neat uh, spell book. Yada yada yada. Let's get. I, I'm gonna, I gotta open saga. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay. Um, some rares, null brooch, and uh, the mindless, and then we flip. Okay, we got opal titan over here, uh, which is a rare. We got faith healer and soul sculptor, along with Sarah's liturgy. I think I'm saying that right. Don't recall if any of those are on reserve list or not. Uh, Glorious Anthem, that got a reprint not too long ago. Angelic Chorus. Whenever a creature comes into play under your control, gain life equal to the creature's toughness. God, man, looking at this binder, man, just makes me feel like back in the day. Oh, like I'm going through my cards or something, man. It's so sweet. Uh, Angelic Chorus, uh, the Disciple of the Law. So nice, man. It's so freaking cool. Words cannot explain, my friends. Words cannot explain. And then the Circle of Protections. I'm not sure how long they carried on the Circle of Protections. There's another Soul Sculptor, so we had multiples of that. Okay, and there's duplicates behind any of this stuff. I don't know. Sarah's him. I'm trying to see, like, just on the side without getting crazy and pulling them all out. Uh, I would imagine some commons have duplicates. I'm going to push this back down. They get, get, get protected, my friends. All right, Soul Sculptor. Midsummer uh, Revel. Sprog Genesis. There you go. <laughs> Um, any big hitters here? Come on, baby. Herald of Sarah. That one went up recently. Uh, the OG Sarah Avatar. Cool, cool. Blanchwood Armor. Oh, man. Retaliation. I always like that artwork. Oh, God. Just soak in the nostalgia, my friends. Soak in the nostalgia with me. This is beautiful. Okay, okay. Oh, God. That's some sticky stuff. All right. Flipping Hidden Herd. Argothian Enchantress is nice. That's a nice one. And uh, Sit Sitinal Centaurs. There you go. Sitinal Centaurs. Hidden Predators. Watch out for them out there. And we got Greater Good. I almost forgot Greater Good was in this set. Whirlwind as well. And uh, Greener Pastures. Wow, we have a, a decent amount of rares on this page for sure. Uh, Greater Good was reprinted in BattleBot, if I'm not mistaken. So, there you have it. There you have it. Okay, we'll be up to Elvish Lyrus. Uh, Carpet of Flowers. Very good card. Um, see the crap ton of play. Um, wherever it's legal. Child of Gaia. That one was nasty. Endless Worm. Uh, oh man. Argothian Worm. You got multiples of that friend? No? Maybe? 
What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, there's... Whoa! Holy crap. One, two, three. Three are Gothian worms. Maybe I should be going flipping through these, huh? Um, that's multiple right there. Did not expect that. You got multiples of this too? No, not that. What about this? I feel like we got to do it to all of them. Endless worm. Um, Child of Gaia. Do you have multiples of that? You do. Cool, cool. Another card. Uh, again, my first deck was um, was green. So there you got it right there, baby. Um, this card for sure was in that deck. Really neat to see that. But the deck was crap because I didn't freaking ramp up. So my deck was just atrocious. Um, sometimes I couldn't even play a creature because I had a bunch of like four drops. I'm like, this is a big creature with trample. Whatever that means, let's play it. You know? <laughs> no way to get there. Uh, there's Bulwark and uh, Satanial Herofence. Herofence. Cool, cool. You get multiple Carpet of Flowers, buddy? No? You got three of these, but you don't got any Carpet of Flowers. All right. You probably traded for those or something. All right. On to Red and Urza Saga. Um, antagonism. There you go. Bunch of commons, mostly. Guma. Cool. Fault lines are rare. Sometimes the rares are hard to catch. The rare the rare set symbol, at least. Um, from Saga. For whatever reason, that's how it was. Uh, another Guma. Heat Ray. Wow. The old brand. The worm. Electrite. Electrite. All right. This page is all right. Oak, Ock. See, I almost missed that. Ock. Because, like, the rare symbol kind of blends in. Um, like, almost silver, you know? Cool, cool. Are there any multiples here? No, multiple. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, I'll stop. Bedlam. Creatures cannot block. <laughs> Sorry about your luck, pal, but you can't block. Uh, that goes for you as well. All right. Mm, oh my god, Shiva and Hellkite. Guys, I'm going to tell you a really quick story. And you're going to laugh. I'm going to try to do it quick, though. So, Shiva and Hellkite. This was the only card I needed to complete my set way back in the day. And we ended up taking one of my friends. A sneak attack right there, right above it. Nice sneak, nice sneak attack. Oh my god, this is so cool. I, I, this is so freaking cool right now. All right, let me, I, I got to tell you this story. This is a very exciting time. Shiva and Hellkite. Only card I needed to complete my Urza Saga set. I was like 12 years old, okay? You know, first discovering puberty and all that stuff, all right? Um, good times. Well, um, we ended up taking, uh, me and my buddy Adama, we went to the store um, to grab some cards. Pick up some booster packs from the local game store. It was not that far. It was like right up the street, you know? Walking distance. And we get up there, and my friend ends up pulling. I bought like maybe six packs Urza Saga. My friend ended up buying one pack. He doesn't play magic, and he pulls a freaking Sheevan Hellkite. He refused to give it to me. Refused. He would not give me it for nothing. He didn't care about trades. I should have just offered him five bucks or something. But for whatever reason, my friend Tony, um, he's a firefighter now. He's much matured since the, since the times back then. Uh, he's got three kids, and he grew up for sure. But at the time, he refused to give it to me. I was salty. I was rain of saltiness. And what I ended up finding out, I go over at Damo's, and a Damo has a Sheevan Hellkite. I'm like, how'd you get that, bro? You went to the store without me, you know? And he told me, um, he, <laughs> Tony said, a, or Tony asked a Damo if he could uh, have a little fun watching uh, a no-no video, you know, up in his room taking care of himself, and he would give him the Sheevan Hellkite. And Adamo had the uh, the videos back then, you know. Uh, <laughs> and man, that little bastard, um, he gave it to him. So because of a little... <laughs> yeah, I'm like, dude, really? Like, it's the most weirdest, sickest story. But that is Joey Moss's history with Sheevan Hellkite. <laughs> Since then, though, I, I do have a Sheevan Hellkite, though. Now I got a second one. So that's fun that it came back around for the second time. Um, wow. Yeah. Good times, guys. Good times. <laughs> Don't be like Tony. Don't be like Tony. All right. Ooh, Persecute. We got some cool cards here. Persecute. Legit. Times two of those. Are there... Man, this page is so sticky. Are there multiples here? 
Yeah, of what? Persecute. Another persecute. Behind a persecute. That's hot sauce. Okay. I must feel we should be checking out the sneak attacks too already. Are there multiples of this one too? Holy crap. Two persecutes right there. Um, we should really be checking behind all these. Okay, Eastern. I can't check all of them, but I would imagine like if it's a... Uh, I want to check sneak attack. <laughs> no luck. Um, but I would imagine if it's a rare symbol, you know, it's worth at least checking. Like right here, anything? No? Okay. Stephen Hellkite, one. Okay. All right, got to look. We got to look, mates. We got to look. All right. Um... So there's the Eastern Paladin with 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 the with engine. Is it another one, and another one, and another one? So we got two of the witch engines. Don't want to mess this card up. There we go. Eastern Paladin, especially if we don't know what the heck, the heck it is. One Eastern Paladin. Okay. Wow. Uh, really, really neat. Um, especially with multiples. Okay. Uh, Lurking Evil. Right there. One lurking evil. Bada bing. Darkest hour. All creatures are black. Bada bing. And uh, reprocess. He has a decent um, saga set. Sleeper agent. How many of those you got, friend? Just one. The build. Oh my god. Man, this is really awesome. This is really awesome. I feel like I'm getting some of my old stuff back. I already checked this one. Oh man, just excited. Um, did we check reprocess yet? It feels like there's multiples there. Ah, okay. Um, so there's that page. And then we got contamination. That's a good one. Can we check, this one? Can we check you? Can we, can we, can we, oh, one contamination. That's all right. That's, that's freaking awesome. Recently jumped in price. Um, discordant dirge. There you go. Discordant dirge. Um... Which if there is in one of these classes here. Hibernation. Um, the Drake. Oh man, we're getting into blue. Energy field. Oh, I hope you have some nasty freaking blue saga cards, my dude. Please, please, please. Please, baby, 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 please. Please have some nasty, dirty freaking saga cards. Oh god, that'd be so gross. Okay, okay, okay. Cabbage. <laughs> I bet the good Raz make them taste terrible. <laughs> All right, nothing, yeah, nothing here. Where'd it go? Where's your good stuff, man? Where's the good blue? Oh, God. I got really excited there for a second. All right, um, bunch of uncommons mostly here. Nothing too nuts uh, on this page. Oh, man, so cool. Okay, what do we got here? Baron, stroke of genius. Crocodile, pet, imaginary pet. Oh, my God, copper gnome, Zephyr. Attunement? You got multiples of this stuff? This is like 40 bucks now or something. Man, these cards went up. Stroke of Genius. I love this card. It was banned everywhere, though. Stroke of Genius, man. I always thought this was Urza. Isn't that Urza? Yeah, it is Urza. There's Urza. He's like, ah, what did I do? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have a Stroke of Genius. And he just strokes that. Yeah, it's banned, I think, in everything, though. Target player draws X cards. You pay X2 and a blue. So, I mean, yeah, you can see how that would just end up killing someone if they get the right mana fixing. Uh, Master Wizard, that is really cool. Good card. Um, what else? Uh, I don't think the Crocodile is packing any heat. Zephyr, can be targeting spells or abilities. That might be. Uh, Copper Gnomes, wow. Really cool. No heavy hitter for the for the blue, though. Kind of disappointed in that. We got Grafted Skullcap. Phyrexian Colossus is huge. 8-8 eight, eight monstrosity, man. Really neat. Whitstone. Grafted Skull Clamp. We got multiples, pal. <laughs> Check them all out. Uh, the Sitinal Flute. Sure. Sitinal Flute. Sure. However you say that. Phyrexian Colossus, man. 8-8. Eight, eight. So sweet. Fl uh, fluctuator. Bada bing. Urza's Armor up in the top left. All right. Grafted Skull Cap. Nothing. Nothing. I think I'm triple checking the same stuff. Uh, Baron's Codex. We got Baron's Codex up here. So many sweet cards. So many sweet cards. The Whetstone. Okay, that's single. I think we're going through this one. Oh. 
There's the lands. You know what we were looking for. Oh my god! I wasn't even thinking. Phyrexian freaking towers right there. Right? Yeah? Good card, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Thrawn Quarry, Sheevan Gorge. <sighs> okay. <sighs> That's a good card. Phyrexian Tower is sweet. Um, not bad at all. Okay, okay, good card. Temporal, anything back there? Uh, Aperture, wow. Sheevan Gorge, okay, we did good. Okay, we did good. Ooh, Urza's Destiny. Do we have foils, is my question. There's Flicker. We got old Flicky. All right, we got Flicker. Oh, nice page. This was a good page right here. Got Flicker. Opalescence. Opalescence. All right. A Griffin. Uh, Replenish. That's a nasty card. Glorious Anthem, way over here. Uh, Griffin. But that freaking Replenish, how many you got, dude? One. We'll take it. <laughs> I feel like we got to check the backs of these, man. Oh, man, so sweet. So freaking sweet. Glorious Anthem. Okay. That replenishes a heavy hitter. Opalescence. Let me check it, I think. Okay. Holy crap. And we got the healer up here. Definitely some nasty pools, man. Some nasty, nasty pools in here. Uh, Tethered Griffin. Sure, sure. Oh, my goodness. All right. Foils anywhere? Anywhere foils? No, okay. Look at beetles, uh, the crocodile. Big old plow under. Put two target lands on the top of their owner's library. Ancient silverback. Fun card to play with right there. Regenerate ancient silverback. Really annoying. Oh my god. I don't even know why I didn't see this, man. Oh my god. Rule fellows. Lana War emissary. Bro. That's a sick card right there. I, I'll be sleeving all this stuff uh, for sure after the video. Not enough time, though. Oh, my God. You got two of these. Holy crap. Um, Lanawar Emissary. Oh, my God. I did so good with this. This has to be like... The, this is bonkers. This is just bonkers, man. Emperor Crocodile. Holy crap. The dude took great care of his cards, man. Look. Look. It's almost like a bunch of people mentioned, dude, it's like my collection's coming back to me. And I'm like, you know what? That makes a hell out of sense. <laughs> like, oh my God. This is so nasty. I, didn't, I just realized now I had my light on in the video the whole time. I did not mean to have the light on. Hopefully there's no glare. Holy crap. Okay. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. What do we got? Oh, throw an elemental for a quick brief for a second. <laughs> Agent Sliverback. It's just one page after another of like, what are we going to pull? You know, like you just never know. Um, throw an elemental. You got multiples of these? Nope. Throw an elemental. Nope. Okay. Geo's combat damage to defending player as though it weren't blocked. That's cool. Um, Covetous Dragon. That one got a little bit of the binder rub on it though. That's, that's a pooper. Yeah, that's a poopy. But nonetheless, really neat. Um, man, there's so many reserve list cards we pulled out of these. It's just, it's just mind boggling. Body Snatcher, that got some of the, uh, the binder stuff. Repercussion. Goblin Marshal, forgot about this card. The old Echo, man. Forgot about the Echoes. Multiple, oh, it does have multiples. How many got there? Two? Two of the Goblin Marshals. Uh, Wake of Destructions right here as well. Another rare. I'm not sure if that's on the reserve list. See, I almost missed that one, that rare. Um, and Patience. Oh, we got Patience for this, all right. Uh, nothing there. Mm, okay. One in Patience. Oh, my God. Goblin Festival. I feel like I just got to check every single one. Okay, just one there. Um, the Cyclops. One Cyclops, okay. Body Snatcher, which um, saw better days. It's got the uh, old bend on it. I don't, it's like curved right there from the binder. I'm just sitting around for a while. Um, a mixture of Urza Saga and um, Destiny here. Carnival of Souls, cool card. Reserve list for sure. Yogmas Bargain. Is that what I think it is? Skip your draw step, pay one life, draw a card. Is that... What Yogmas was it that was worth a crap ton? Apprentice Necromancer. Man, we're heating up. We are cooking Heaven's Bakery, baby. Oh, man. Um, oh, my God. <sighs> this is almost overwhelming. 
Okay. Um, Yagma's bargain. They're in such good shape. Look at this card. That is like a mint condition. Bargain of souls. There, I shut off my, uh, my light there. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. There's like nothing wrong with it. A little something back here though. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Oh, don't damage it, Joey. Don't be stupid your whole life. Oh, okay, there we go. Yogma's Bargain. Is that the card that I think is good? I think it is. I'm not sure. Either way, it's in mint condition. That is sick. Skip your draw step. Pay one life, draw a card. Get a bunch of life and draw as many cards as you want. That card's got to be, like, sickly busted, man. Um, attrition. Private research. This is so much to take in. Uh, Blizzard Elemental. Or a thief. Holy crap. You got any duplicates back here? No, brother? I got to check because the other ones, you know. We had duplicates back in those ones. Blizzard Elemental. Okay. All right. I think we got this whole page cleared. Wow. So, so sweet. Oh, boy. Artifacts coming up. Where are foils? I hope you have foils in the end. Donate. Opposition. Make that two oppositions. Holy crap. That's Urza. And who's the other dude he's arguing with? Or thief, temporal adept, treachery. All up in your face. Oh my god, dude, this is a fucking jackpot. Uh, Rain Academy Chancellor, Scrying Glass, Powder Keg, Junk Diver. Oh my god, one treachery. There was one treachery, right? Yeah. Oh my god, temporal. These are all gonna get sleeved and treasured. Or a thief. If you have old magic cards, do not sell them. Hang on to them, okay? Do not get rid of them. I don't care what the man selling you tacos says. Do not sell them. And a lot of you sold all your cards to him. Big mistake, man. Um, big mistake. Because uh, your, your cards are worth a crap ton now. Especially if you have the older stuff. Uh, Rain Academy. Ch oh my god, we have foils. Donate. Target player gets control. Oh my god. You got more donates? You got more donates up there? You got more donates? Ah, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we're okay with that. Um, oh my god, man. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing we're doing so good. Uh scrying glass. What else we got here? Oh. Let's try to get that glare off. Maybe I do need to have my have my light on just to prevent the glare. I don't know. I want it to go away. Okay, there we go. Whatever. I just don't want clear. Okay, we're getting in the nitty-gritty. Last page. Oh, my God. Oh, my Oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, before I even look at the foils. Oh, my God. There's the Urza's Incubator. One. I wanted this so bad. Two. I was just talking about it, and the price just kept going up. Masticor. We got how many? Oh, my God. I'm like a fiend. Uh, one Masticor. That's okay. We'll take it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, man. There's five. Wait. One page. One, two, three. We got eight. No uh, momentum. I'll have to do price checks on all these. But man, these are foils from back in the day. Holy crap. I think that about face might be something. Goblin medics, the fairies. Holy shit, man. Plague dogs, skittering horror. We got thieving mag magipie. Wait, isn't that one? Isn't that a rare? Thieving magpie? That might be worth some pretty pennies. Oh no, it's victim of the uh the bend. Oh my god. It's stuck. No! Oh my god. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, I gotta take it. I feel like I gotta take him out of these sleeves, man. Oh my god, I don't wanna damage it. Oh my god. It's like stuck in there from like moisture or something collecting. There we go. But there was already a bend on this one, as you can see. Oh man. There, there, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it stinks. From the old binder. The old binder. Oh, man, we got to flatten you out, baby. We got to flatten you out. Kid. There we go. Is there more? There's a couple cards at the end here. 
I can't even open this to put it in. Okay. I just don't want it to be against that binder right there. Okay. Uh, momentums are rare, I think. Uh, no, it's uncommon. I think the match pie might be a rare. All right. And the last page, Avatar. This is weird. Avatar of Hope and uh, Bifurcate. I don't know anything about these. I never played in that set. Uh, but there you go. Holy crap. Oh, man. Okay. We're going to keep the ball rolling. What a freaking opening right there. Don't forget, I still have a whole lot of stuff to open for this, man. There's one more last binder. And then there's also um, uh, this box. Um, and what's in here? That's right. Oh, no cards. But we do got some cool stuff nonetheless. These are old booklets from back then. The old portal one. This is how I like how I learned to play magic was reading one of these little books. Not this one in particular. Um, Rules for Urza Saga. Fifth, like one of these right here. Fifth edition. I remember having to read all this. This is how complicated it was before to play magic. Like they made it so difficult as a beginner. Now it's just, it just seems a lot more... Uh, easy to understand, but these were the old books they had, man. Urza's Legacy, wow. I bet even these books go for like five, ten bucks. Really, really cool. Exodus, that is in great shape. Like it was never even opened. I'm not even going to mess with that one. Really cool. And Tempest. Wow. Well, guys, that was the second one. Um, I don't even want to guess the value on it, but that was just an amazing experience, and I'm glad I can share it with all of you. Um, next video, we're going to be cracking open this, and we're going to probably finish off the last binder. I think there's, yeah, there's one last binder to go. And then we have a big box um, that looks like it holds like a 1,000 counts or something, um, or maybe 2,000 counts, something like that, of cards. We're going to go through that, too. <sighs> Those foils, everything about this. Ah. That's such a good mood. Might take the woman out for ice cream. If you guys like this video, definitely uh, leave a thumbs up. You know, um, this is really cool, and I'm just glad I could share it with you guys. <sighs> this has to be newer. Who could tell me what year this is from? It looks newer. I can't even open. I, I can't touch it. Can't open it. I got to keep uh, the suspense for myself and for all of us. All right. Um, yeah. Appreciate you tuning in. Joy Moss. Leave a comment too. I hate like hearing back from you guys. Let's get through this. Just to be there